What do you think of the work of uh, Gunther von Hagen's? The guy who was guy. Voice. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, I kind of, uh, I went to see that show. Yeah. Because it's, it's a weird process of plasti plastination, I think it's called, isn't it? Yeah, he invented it. Yeah, it was with the, yeah, it's a brilliant process. But it's, I, I kind of think there's, uh, there's, there was three or four pieces that were just mind-blowing. It's like, I mean, a lot, of people, a lot of people say to me, why don't you use people? I mean, mm -hmm. I was thinking, in a way, you don't use people because it's, it's, it's either not shocking or it's too shocking. You know, you know that they're real people. It's very hard to believe it. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, you know, I'm into it. I mean, you know, there's no limits to what you can do. But every mm -hmm. time, I mean, I've had many ideas that involve humans. Like, make, you know, an idea that I still think about is I'd love to have a man and woman. He was gonna, I wanted to do a piece called Creation Explained, which mm -hmm. is a man and woman fucking cut in half mm -hmm. with the penis inside the vagina. Mm -hmm. like, you could actually see him walk around. I thought that'd be a great object and a brilliant thing yeah. to do. But I think what I want people to look at you can't, they, they can't look at because you've cut a man and woman in half. Mm -hmm. So they, go, they, they won't go beyond that. So people go in there and go, oh my God, it's, you get all the newspapers, they'll go, shock, horror, people cut in half, guy using people, and you go, and what I want them to look at is something else. But maybe we just have to get used to it, you know, after a while. I mean, I, you know, I, if, if people were used to it, I'd probably do it. Huh. I mean, I wanted to, you know, I mean, I did have an idea you could put like a, a, a rotting cow's head in the middle of a gallery. Yeah. And, but it's like, 90% of the people, after a week, wouldn't come in the gallery. Mm -hmm. So it defeats the object. But there is a rotten cow head, I mean... Yeah, but, if, but the, I mean, it's, that's, you know, it's not a real one, is it? It's not real? No. Really oh. Good. I mean, really? You, you, you faked it? Well, why? Yeah. Why it's, is it not real? Yeah. I mean, there's no drugs in that, either. Mm -hmm. There's not there empty. It's empty. I've never been involved, you know, I always think art's more... You know, there's something theatrical about it, so it's like, you know, it's, you know it has to be... Mm -hmm. If it looks real in an artwork, that's, that's all you need to do. If it looks real, it is real. What is your prediction? When will there be the first one billion dollar art piece? <laughs> Who knows? Mm. I mean, it's, it's bound to be like an old person. Maybe, maybe it's already happened. Mm -hmm. in, in which sense? Did it already happen? Well, it'd have to be, uh, I mean, I suppose it'd have to be, maybe if, uh, wasn't there talk that maybe Greece was going to have to sell the mm -hmm. Pergamon? Not the Pergamon, that's here. They weren't, you know, it, was your, it was the Prime Minister saying that Greece should mm. sell the Parthenon, wasn't it? Yeah, but I mean, of, of, like of a living, I'm, I mean, of a living artist. And that raises the question, if, if we said, if we said in 25 years, mm -hmm. then it will be an artist you've never heard of, mm. then your question would be, what about a trillion? Mm -hmm. You know, but I think, you know, you know you're not going to really get that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, just, it's a lot of money. Yeah, maybe it's just a question of size and you just have to make an artwork that is big enough. I'd imagine it goes the other way. I'd, I'd imagine it'd have to be really small. Yeah. Like a diamond. I remember yet that... What's the most expensive material in the world? I think the radioactivity... What, like like plutonium. Pl yeah, plutonium Uranium. or polonium. Yeah. You know this, this, uh, the German um, secret service, they bought plutonium once, just a days? few grams. And, and uh, it was amazing to buy enough plutonium to build a bomb. It cost something on the black market like 800 million. So you're pretty close to one billion, just to get enough plutonium. Well, so great, if you just get two of those and sign them, there's your work. Yeah. Don't invite me to the opening though, that was too. <laughs> I need the suit. Um, Imagine me, I'm, I'm 40 years old, I'm a, I'm a writer, and I would consider to become a really, really famous artist. What would I have to do? Would I have any chance, or I'm too old, is it gone? Is there still, could it still? Do you want to be a famous artist? Half yeah. A, half a, uh, famous for art, though. I mean, you could be a famous artist and kill the queen. You could be an artist and kill the queen. But you want to be famous for making art. Yeah, and let's say not not get in prison for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would. And not be, kill myself. You, I mean, if you, you make stuff. great art, you stand quite a good chance. Mm-hmm. Go go for it. And could I? Is it possible, like like the market works, that I could make it with just one artwork? Or is it necessary that I make an amount of works? Well, there's all levels of fame out there. I mean, there are a lot of musicians out there who've done one-hit wonders. I yeah. had an interview with um, the guy who did, what, what, who did Spirit in the Sky. He said, he, yeah, he yeah. said, I've got one hit, and it was brilliant. He said, I've got one hit, Spirit in the Sky, everybody. We play it. He says, I don't care, because some people have no hits. He mm -hmm. says, I've had one. He says, I did a gig in Denmark recently, where we did Spirit in the Sky, Ten times. He said they still had three on calls.